One of the great things about football is that no one knows for sure what's going to happen. Let's see what unfolds here tonight. My name is Derek Ray, and with me is my commentary partner, Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Atletico Madrid taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. and rise of Antoine Griezmann has been something very interesting to follow, I must say. Lee, what do you enjoy about him? Well, he used to play the game in spurts. You go quiet in a game and then all of a sudden a bit of brilliance. He's now all-round game. He's getting better and better and his link-up play outside the box, very good indeed. And obviously we know about his goal-scoring record. Incredible achievement winning the Champions League last season and they'll be very very confident they can go deep in this competition this time round they'll need to ride their luck at times but they've got top players they really have and the expectations of this club are huge it's going to be tough but I'm pretty sure they're confident enough to push it all the way and this is the starting lineup for Atletico Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Diego Godin plays alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in central defence. And the strike partnership, Antoine Griezmann plays alongside Diego Costa. And the starting players for Real Madrid. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a T, to be fair. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Rodri. It's with Saul. Atletico have given it away. There's no doubt about it, the UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93. And there are many, Lee, who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere. Well, I think it is the best club competition uh, in the top, at the end, near the final, etc., is what it is. But the tournament is strong throughout. The group stages and then the knockout stages. It's the perfect format for me. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. Good numerical situation. Griezmann. Atletico's corner. Short corner is the preferred option here. Rodri. And scope for the cross. Saul. And here's Rodri. Intelligent threaded pass here. Back from the byline. And blocked by Marcelo. And a corner for Atletico. Okay, tasked with taking it. No nonsense clearance. 
Mateo Malemar. What a block from Bagan. It is to be a throw in. And here's Lamar. Now he must favour the cross. Rodri. Felipe Luis has it. Atletico have the corner. And Koke with the delivery. And ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Clattered away. Over the touchline for a throw-in. The ball with Rodri. Jimenez. And now it's with Saul. Running with the ball confidently. Lamar. Bale. Benzema. Casemiro. Considerable space afforded Real Madrid. He has time to play it over. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. And he whips it in. Felipe Luis has it. Rodri. Koke. Juan Fran. Now Griezmann. In full control of the ball here. Modric. This is Sergio Ramos. A lot of momentum to this Atletico attack. And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. Saul. The ball with Rodri. Griezmann. Koke with it, with purpose and control. So a throw in here. Griezmann, not a particularly strong challenge. Splendid save from the keeper, danger averted. Yeah, he didn't have long to react to that, but you have to praise his reflexes there. Koke with it. Crossing opportunity. Rodri. Saul. Thomas Lemar. Let's see what he has in store for them. That's excellent defending following the cross. And with that, the first half draws to a close. But it's usually hard to take your eyes off Antoine Griezmann, but Lee, your assessment of his performance so far? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage match day. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Karim Benzema. Casemiro. Well, let's... And Gareth Bale takes it on. Oblak holds on to it. Rodri. Koke with it. Griezmann. 
Now Casemiro. Tony Kors. Sloppy Cabajal. Here's man. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Now Casemiro. Tony Kors. Casemiro. Here's Carvajal. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. It's with Saul. Given away. And Kors. Gareth Bale. And Skull for the cross. Still possibilities. And cleared away. And here's a change now for Atletico. This is Kroos. Casemiro. And options in the centre. Marcelo. Casemiro. Casemiro. And Isco. Marcelo. Now Casemiro. Goes in the middle. Casemiro. And it's gone out for a throw in to Real Madrid. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Marcelo. Now Casemiro. Luka Modric. Isco. Marcelo. Now he must favour the cross. So a throw in here. Well, that's a completely wasted throw in. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Rafael Varan. Now Casemiro. Carvajal. Now, what can he do here? Look at Modric. Well, great read. There. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Corner kick played in, and he's clear his lines. The ball with Luka Modric. It might really appeal to Isco. A goal it is, at long last, they've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactics and see what happens. Well, my initial opinion was to blame the goalkeeper, but here we get a better angle of it. Absolutely nothing it can do. A huge deflection. Keeper, no chance. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. And the match back in business. Real Madrid with the advantage. Godin. Coque. Assistier. Thomas now. Now Juan Fran. Jimenez. Juan Fran. Saul. Vitolo. 
and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Corner coming up. Corner kick from Koke. Great chance with that header. And he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Isco unable to outfox the defender. Here's Ramos. Casemiro. Well, now it is final, and Real Madrid will be wondering where it went awry tonight. A terrible start to their Champions League campaign. It's not a disaster, it's only game one. You can't afford any more slip ups. That result will eat until game two comes along. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely, yes. Yeah. It might really appeal to Isco. A goal it is, at long last, they've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactic. Ritolo. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Corner kick from Koke. Great chance with that header, but he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post.